the eyes of Texas and the entire nation on DKR Texas Memorial Stadium in Austin, the site for our showdown today. Both teams very excited about getting this game underway. Warm-up's just about complete, almost set for kickoff. It ought to be a great one tonight. Time for college football on ESPN. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will have the call. Playing host to this matchup is Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world. EA Sports and ESPN bring you this exciting college football game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by Kirk Herbstreit, and we'll hear from Aaron Andrews on the sidelines and Reese Davis in the studio throughout the game. Tonight's college football action is brought to you by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We've got the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Texas Longhorns. Chances of an upset here on Craig, but this is still not a team that they want to overlook. Kickoff's just ahead, but first we'll take you down for the coin toss. We'd like to take this moment to let you know this game is brought to you by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's tackled at the 25. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. About the 25-yard line. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on the 25-yard line. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. Drops back to pass. And he is drilled at the 18. It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Johnson is back deep to return the punt. Oh, excellent punt. Johnson takes it to 36, and down he goes at the 47-yard line. Like a couple of boxers in round one, these two teams are feeling each other out. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. And he's tackled right away. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Throws down the middle. Into traffic, and it's picked off. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. From their own 19-yard line, first down. Nice run there. Harris gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball in the 23. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. The linebacker here bites on the play fake. And once that happens, there's plenty of room for a nice completion. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. If you're the defense coordinator, you got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive linemen. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman to tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. Up the middle. And he's level at the 32-yard line. Call a gain of 12 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. And he hits him hard at the 10-yard line. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. This sophomore corner's got a ton of potential at that position. These coaches are really excited about what he'll do for the program over the next few years. From their own 10-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 23. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First and 10. Ball on their own 23. Drops back on first down. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. Five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 28. Backward pass. That's a fumble. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown! Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This was a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. Alabama with a six-point lead. 
He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will take over at the 25-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Diggs takes him down behind the line at the 24-yard line. That'll bring up from their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety. So the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Here's third and 11. Ball on their own 24. Back to pass. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Right side with the option. Runs right for a nice game. Ingram gains seven there on the speed option. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. Of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and six. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Alabama is up by a touchdown. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. What? And they make the stop at the 48. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. goes right around the 48 yard line no game on the play third down third down and they need to get it inside the 47 it's getting louder down on the field what? quick throw out to the receiver when you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that you've got the defense right where you want them From the 34-yard line, first down. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. 
Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Alabama up seven points. Steps out of bounds around the 26-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And it's going to be hard even to hear the snap count. This place is hopping. Ball is loose. Fumble. They fall on it. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Alabama can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. It has the distance. And he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 10-0, Alabama. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will start at the 25. Out of bounds around the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 28. Huh. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 28 yard line, third down. Looking to throw. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. And they fall on the loose ball. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Excellent field position to start the drive. Once and all, going deep. Almost intercepted. From the 36-yard line, second down. Taken down at the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it third and nine. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Crowd a huge factor here. Drops back to pass. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. They'll knock him down for a loss. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They'll start this drive at the 20. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Makes it out to about the 29. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. On the catch, and he steps out. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. 
from their own 34 yard line. First down. <laughs> Nearly intercepted. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own 34. Quick strike to the receiver. And the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the call on the field will be reversed. It's third and five. Ball on their own 39. Sets up a screen, incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. They'll go to work at the 18. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Up the middle. Brought down at the 26-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And this crowd trying to will their defense to make a stop here on third and short. Harris gets another handoff, and he is drilled at the 37. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. And that'll put an end to the first quarter of action. 10-0, Crimson Tide. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Hands it to the back. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 29. Option here. They'll drop him for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it third and 13. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's looking to pass. Throws it deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Fourth and 13. 
It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He's taken down at the 36, and he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 39. And he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Back to pass. Tackle made at the 44. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He heaves it deep. The 10. Touchdown, Texas! Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Brad, the wide receiver was the key here. He did a really good job of working that route to the middle of the field for the post. But before he got to the post, he kind of looked off the defender to the outside and then moved back to the middle of the field. And the quarterback recognized the big hole in the defense and made the throw for the touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He hits the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 61-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. Alabama is up by three. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And this stadium is alive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. Oh, boy. The defense was duped on that play. But to be honest, even if they knew it was coming, I'm not sure they would have been able to stop it. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 43. It's the tailback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. This place is starting to get fired up. He drops back. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. 
Alabama is up a field goal. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. What a collision. From the 46 yard line, first down. They go with the back, and he's got room. And down he goes at the 31 yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 31 yard line. It's first down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From the 20-yard line, first down. And he throws right away. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Third and nine. Ball on the 19. Alabama holds a field goal lead. Drops back to pass. He goes out of bounds at the 13-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. They'll start at the 25. quickly and he's got his man tackle around the 46 yard line you know I think that time Brad the defense tipped their hand with the blitz you could really see the blitz was coming and when an offense at this level knows that there's pressure coming they can make the proper adjustments and then put those wide receivers in one-on-one -on -one opportunities against the defense and when you blitz you're really leaving yourself vulnerable to a big play against a, a good offense they'll go with the option He's at the 30, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 27-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First and 10, ball on the 27. They try the right side. Runs right for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. From the 22-yard line, second down. Option left side, inside the 10. They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. An excellent pass to the wideout for six. That wide receiver had his eyes on the end zone the second he caught the ball. That was a nice-looking play.
They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. And he converts the extra point. It was a five-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. So our score, 14-13. The Texans is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Takes the ball right, and he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. From their own 39-yard line, first down. He's looking for his man. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. Ah. Finds the junior. Brought down at the 43. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Harris takes the give. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The misdirection play gets him four yards. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. Third, Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. He's tackled with the 38 yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's blocked. The offense falls on it. We got a flag down on the field. Might have been offsides. Fourth down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Quick throw picked off. Some daylight. Touchdown! Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. Texas is up by a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Texas Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. Ah! 
Robinson on the run makes it to the 34. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here's the halfback. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. made around the 48 yard line so they pick up quite a few yards on that play Kirk well that was an excellent route and he did a great job of holding on to the football and he's tackled at about the 49 call it a gain of three yards first down first and ten ball on the 49 yard line the 40. Foster on the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He drops back. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at about the 17-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Runs with it, and he's got room. The 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That's hey, sometimes the defense does yards. everything right, and they still that lose. That time they had tight coverage, which There's left no options field. other than for the quarterback to take off. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. It in a pickup of about three. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. Looks like there's an injured player on the field. They're calling an audible. And they'll get him in the backfield. He unloads it. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's in for the conversion. So a 10-play, 79-yard drive, and they get eight points after that two-point conversion. This quarterback is playing so well, and it's easy to see how he's impacting the offense. And, and this last drive was just another thing of beauty where the ball didn't touch the ground. But what I've been really impressed with in studying film is how he seems to affect the entire team. Even the defense, I think, seems to play with more confidence because of the confidence that they have in their quarterback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Back to pass. Going long. Almost picked off. Who was the intended receiver on the play? 
That makes it second and ten. Now let's go down to our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. She's got an injury update. Guys, he's trying to move around his arm to loosen up what I have been told is a strained elbow. Brad, it looks like he is done for the day. Brad, back to you. All right, thanks for the update, Aaron. Certainly not good news. Let's hope he doesn't miss any extended playing time. Third and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. We played a half. 21-21 ball game. Just an unbelievable point barrage in that first half. And as we get set to kick off here in the third quarter, let's find out which defense can finally slow the pace. They'll start this drive at the 25. And down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 28-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. We've got third and 10. Ball on the 25. Looking to throw. He's going to air it long. Missed him. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Oh, excellent punt. He's to the 40. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Return for a gain of 15 yards. They'll go to work at the 44. Drops to throw on first down. Gets it out quickly. Tackle at the 47. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receiver. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Looks to pass. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This place is getting loud. Option here. Runs it right. Nice pickup. I really thought that the ball was going to stay in the quarterback's hands, but he made a really smart decision to pitch it out, and now they've got another set of downs to work with. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Back to pass. He scrambled. They'll bring him down at about the 31. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First and 10, ball on the 31-yard line. Wants to throw outside. Got his receiver, touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. Alabama is up by six. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 48-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And this is just a booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
The offense will take over at the 25-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 45-yard line, first down. He's looking to pass. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. They go with the option. Pitches back, and he's pushed out of bounds. Around the 46-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Drops back to pass. Burt was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Certainly they don't have the return on here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Alabama is up seven. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. Green makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Here's a running play. Brought down at the 43. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's going left. Incomplete. Almost picked off. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They bring him down in the backfield. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll go ground. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Going to throw here on third and short. He gets rid of this one. 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He wants it all going long. Caught. Touchdown, Texas. He's thrown his third touchdown pass of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. I'm kind of surprised. These guys are still losing after the type of game that this quarterback's having. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He puts it deep downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. Third down. This crowd in full throat right now. And he's going to be sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Johnson, the return man. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. The offense will start at the 44. Throws in a hurry. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. This offense just had so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. Texas with a six-point lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start at the 25. He's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and one. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So the sack makes this a second and long. Fights forward to about the 20. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and 15. From their own 20-yard line, it's third down. And this stadium is alive. 
Drops back to pass. Goes to the tailback, incomplete. Intended for the tailback that time. Yeah, the quarterback underthrew him here, but it's a good job of taking the incompletion instead of risking a turnover. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Brought down at the 43. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. They'll go to work at the 43-yard line. Texas is up by a touchdown. What? He looks to throw on first down. And they get the sack. That is a loss of seven on the play. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He chucks it downfield. Got it. Down the sideline. The 10. Tack on another score. His third in the passing game. This receiver has just been unstoppable. this one off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. First down and back to pass. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's getting louder down in the field. Around the 35 yard line. That's good for the game. Three yards. That makes it four the inches. Johnson awaiting the return. He's tackled at the 32. Return for a gain of six yards. They'll get the ball here at the 32-yard line. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. That makes it second and ten. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Looking to throw. And he's sacked. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. So the sack makes this third and very long. Drill at the 31 yard line. Yes. Picks him up around seven yards with that catch. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. 
He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 33. This drive will start at the 33-yard line. And he's taken down right around the 34. That brings up second and nine. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Down he goes, right around the 40. Gain of six yards. Third down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Got to be hard for the offense to even hear the play call. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. That's just too bad. They made the stop, but a flag is going to keep the chains moving. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. Three down and one to go. The Longhorns lead it by two touchdowns. From the 44-yard line, second down. Back to pass. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. Number 34 was the intended receiver on the play. That Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. And this stadium is getting loud. He's looking to pass. Deep ball. Laying it out there. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. He tried to force it to a man that wasn't open, and boy, was he lucky it wasn't picked off. He's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Harris gets the call again. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. 15 on the play. First down. They've got a solid drive going here, but I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. This is the eighth play of this drive. What? They'll throw on first down. Zips it to the back. Brought down at the 24-yard line. Robinson picks up around five yards with that catch. It's second and five here. Ball on the 24. Tackle made around the 11-yard line. Jones makes the tackle at the 11-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 11-yard line, first down. Hot. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. He was a little erratic on that pass, but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. Third down. 
We've got third and ten. Ball on the 11. Fourth down. Give to the tailback. Runs right for a nice game. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. They'll set up shot at the eight. Strike to the fullback, incomplete. Smith, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the eight-yard line. Huh? Throws it to coverage, just picked off. He might have a chance. Touchdown, Touchdown time. time. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. Converts the extra point. The Alabama ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here we are in the fourth quarter, and this defense needs a stop. Right now, this offense has got an opportunity to win this ball game if they get any kind of points here. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And he's tackled at about the 31. That's a nice six-yard gain. You got to love the screen pass. Pretty good blocking in front, and it netted some decent yards. Texas up seven points. He fights forward to about the 33. Ingram gains about two yards on the run. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it fourth and four. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Booming kick. Tackle at the 35. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Fires out to his receiver, and they make the stop at the 45. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle around the 46-yard line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. the middle for a nice game. Robinson picks up about seven yards on the run. Third down. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Fellas, the crowd is just going ballistic in support of their defense right here on third and short. He makes it to the 45-yard line. This is just a great effort by the offensive line. The defense was ready for that run, but the big guys pushed them back and the drive will keep going. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Cut. 
Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From the 34-yard line, first down. On the ground with the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. From the 33-yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Drops back to pass. Just throws this one away. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding penalties can really kill momentum. But sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. He drops back, lets it fly. He's at the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Him down at the six yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Gets to about the five-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. From the five-yard line, it's second down. They'll run, and he takes it in. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. It was an eight-play, 55-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Yeah, the balanced attack by this offense right now is, is really keeping this defense on their heels. And when you can run the football, that's the key to having a balanced attack. It just seems to open up everything else within that offense because the defense has to respect you running the football. They'll start to cheat up, and right now the quarterback and the offensive coordinator are doing a really good job of recognizing that from the defense, and they're keeping them off balance by mixing in enough pass to keep it balanced. On the ground, up the middle. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 21-yard line. Call it a loss of seven yards on the play. Seven-yard loss on the play. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 21-yard line, third down. Back to pass, going long. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And this one is a beauty. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And Number to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. First down. 
calling a screen will sometimes slow down the pass rush. So if you're playing a team that likes to blitz a lot, this is one way to get them out of that. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. And down he goes at the 31. Gain of three on the play. That makes it second and eight. From the 31-yard line, second down. He's taken down at the 34. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. And this crowd is going crazy. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown. Big play. He passes for his third touchdown of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. Just under three to go in regulation. And he tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 34-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Well, right now, they're looking at a touchdown, obviously. A field goal does them no good, so it's four-down territory. You obviously have got to do a good job of moving the ball, getting out of bounds, using the timeouts, and just being smart on how efficient they need to be as an offense. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball in the 29. Option here. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Nice run to the outside. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. He fights forward to about the 36. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Going right to his tailback. Tackle made at the 47. Number 29 on the tackle at the 47 yard line. That's good enough for another Texas. First down. From their own 47 yard line. First down. Just under two minutes in the game. The 40. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Fires it quickly. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. First and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. They'll run the option. 
He fights forward to about the 19. The running back gets two on the carry. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll bring him down right around the 18-yard line. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Way too much jersey there. Pretty easy call for the officials. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled right around the 20. Call it a gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and nine. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. The Longhorns will use their first time out of the half. We have less than a minute to go. Going for it all to the end zone! They look awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Lines up for the kickoff. And this is just a booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. you got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. You've got one team fighting for overtime, another one who wants this thing over with now. These seconds should be pretty thrilling. Ball is loose, fumble. And he's tackled at the 37. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. That makes it second and two. He's at the 40. Tackle around the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of 24 yards. That makes it first and ten. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That makes it second and ten. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. They bring him down in the backfield. So it's coming down to the kicking game. This to give them the lead. Alabama will use their final timeout. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. Just to get them to think a little more about it, they're going to call a timeout. The kick is up. And he just drilled it from long range. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. He hits a booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It might be do or die right now for this offense with less than two minutes to play. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He heaves it deep. And he holds in the deep pass. He takes it in for the win. What a finish. Oh, a huge touchdown there, Herbie.
Texas has a three-point lead. And he hits the PAT. 